Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Free Kingdoms Lu Yan Legendary campaign. And it's not going well. We're on the back foot with um, the various Nan Man tribes. Um, Duosi and Shamok have pushed us back. Um, so we need to... We're on the sort of counter-attack now. We're also being attacked by Gongdu, although we've beaten him back as well. Uh, well, no, sorry, we've beaten him back up here, which has brought us time to move Lu Zhang and his army back down to Jiang Yang. Um, and Ji Ling is moving back to replenish as well. Um, so yeah, it's not going so great. On the plus side, I've had a look, and we actually do have a few um, eligible women for marriage. So we could either marry um, the heir of Dong Li's faction, which used to be the faction leader. That was really weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, and actually get on. Or we can marry into Liu Bao's Liu Biao's um, family as well. That's another option. And I think it makes more sense. I mean, I don't know if this is like incest in some way. I don't know how Liu Zhang was actually related to Liu Bao. I assume Re like they were reasonably close family, but we can marry into his family anyway. So I think we're going to do that because she's actually sixteen, whereas um, the, char the other character is twenty six. So I feel like this makes sense. Um, so obviously he's not going to like that, but we have a lot of food, so we might be able to get away of just getting away with food here. So we can give him nine food. Um, no point giving him military access. And he's happy with that. So yeah, let's marry her into our faction. So at least now we're likely to secure some heirs. <laughs> at last. It's taken long enough. Okay, Chen Gong. Chen Gong's unhappy, so we kind of want to make use of him in some fashion. Um, yeah, that's kept him reasonably happy. Diplomacy-wise, I don't think there's much we can do. Or anything worth doing, I should say. And no one's willing to get peace either. So I think... We're now at a point where we can end the turn, so let's do that. Mm, okay, Shamok's gotten really close real fast. So she's Z is uh, C shirt has declared war on Shamok, so okay. Meng Ho is getting more and more stronger. Who's Sang Ming Gan? Is that our mother? Must be. Um. Let's side with Dong Bai. No, let's side with Ren. Hmm. Yeah, it makes more sense to side with Ren Ki. Ren Chi. Right, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to reach the settlement in time. Which is a problem for the main reason that we have Zun Yu here. 
who we don't want to... I mean, he won't die because he's resilient, but he will. He could be captured, so he could then be executed, which would suck. Jiling's definitely not getting there either. Stupid Nanman lands. Keep moving closer because we're going to get replenishment from it. So, where to move G Ling? That's the problem. Shamuk's willing to get a peace deal, but I don't really want to give him it, to be honest. It wouldn't be so bad if we had walls, but we don't because it's a Nanman territory. So that's going to be a problem. I think we have to recall Zhen Yu. Oh yeah, and now we've lost a uh, We've lost our mother. Wait, so can we now marry Liu Yan to Dong Li's character? Yeah, we can. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's she got? Do we know anything about her? Oh, is she really bad? Like, her character worth is low. I assume there's no there's no new ones this turn. It was only a turn ago. I've already married them. Already married into Gongzhu into a Shengzhan's faction, so unlikely to have any family members we can marry there. Yeah, there's no one there. Oh, problem is, we are also extremely low on cash. So if we lose Jiang Yang, that's, that's 1,400 income we're not making. Oh, this is really bad. Um, So if we move there, we guarantee our replenishment, and then hopefully we can at least sprint run over here to help out. Because I expect us to take attrition damage here now, potentially, or we could just make sure we get some money for the next 
few turns. Yeah, I think the problem is we're going to lose money just by doing this as well. I think we do try and recall Jun Yu. Yeah, I think if we remove him from office for the time being. He's pretty unhappy, but at least we've still got him as master of writing. I didn't do anything to our income, so... Um, what's going on with our undercover network? Oh, she's still in in court. That's annoying. Yeah, let's uh, let's steal that character. <laughs> let's do that before I forget. Let's talk to Dong Li, and we will marry her to our father. And does she have any ancillaries we want? No, but we might be able to get some money off of her. Why can't we request regular payments? Oh, that was weird. What? This is going to save all of our money problems. Well. Not exactly, but it's pretty good for us. So what makes us so bad? Charismatic, artful, kind-hearted. Oh! We got the blade of Zhang Yu as well. Dong Zhou's sword. What? How is this a bad deal for... How is this a good thing to get rid of this character? Oh, and an art of war. And an artisan. And a red fur of red. That's... Incredible. We're going to give that sword to Liu Zhang. Obviously. Um, that's a joke. That's hilarious. Um, she also does not need the art of war. Let's remove that and that. Uh, she can have the axe. We got an administrator slot. There's nothing we can do about it at the moment. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Oh, and did Lee Lu Min have anything? No, she didn't. But she's bright. So that's not bad. I'm tempted to use economic stimulus just to keep us in the black if that we lose Jiang Yang, which we will. So let's do that now. Let's use Aspiration, Economic Stimulus, and we'll check Cheng Du. I guess Cheng Du is now not really making much more, but we'll take it.
Zhu Rong is now an eligible spy character. Could be worth going for in a minute. So I think... No, I can't discredit anyone at the moment, so let's just build our undercover network. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that just worked. Good. Cool. And then... Did that actually even do anything? Does that, like, come into effect next turn, or what? That That's weird. Economic stimulus. Yeah, that's that's really bad. <laughs> that's not doing anything. Let's end the turn. So she wants to invite Zheng Zhang into the coalition. Um... Yeah, that seems okay to me. Whereas Liu Chong is... Yeah, let's just accept it. I don't see any downside to it. Oh, Jing Chong rejected anyway. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we could fight this, but we are outnumbered. So I'm going to retreat, because we have that option at the moment. And we still get replenishment where we are there. And now they're both in force march stance. They're already tired, so this is actually not helpful for us. Because they're already... Yeah, they're already tired, so that makes no difference. Okay, we can actually get to Jiang Yang now. So we can probably make Zun Yu. Um, the administrator again. Chen Gong might be a better choice, though. Because he's a bit more unhappy. What was the difference there? So, Zhen Yu has plus 11 public order because he's... Uh, wait, why does he have 11 public order? He's the master of writing, which is plus 4. He's charisma oh, charismatic. The plus 4, 5% plus attrition is quite funny. Also, what is Chen Gong's military? Yeah, I think I think for the time being, let's um, make Zun Yu the administrator here. Me. 
stay there and replenish a bit more. Okay, we're now in a decent position to defend. Chengguang hates everyone. <laughs> but we have got reforms, that's an option now. We could get plus 15% income from peasantry. I think that's actually pretty good here. So we're currently making 526. We're now making 768. So that did make a reasonable difference at the moment. I can't believe we still can't get any more trade agreements of anyone. Uh, we could give him the art of war, actually, couldn't we? And now he'll get movement increase. You do not need to be the general of the left anymore, so we will take that away. And that'll save us 100 a turn. Give this guy, give um, Zun Yu the plus ten percent income from industry. Um, what does the bookkeeper do? Plus twenty percent income from pe peasantry. If we have a stone rat, we do not. So, yeah, let's do the uh, industry buff, and we'll keep the wood knocks. God, this has been a tough few turns. Like, really has. I hate fighting the Nana Man, I really do. No, oh, Zhirong's gonna um, defect any minute now, anyway. Hmm. Let's let's leave him to recover more, to build his spy points, um, and then yeah, let's end the turn. Oh, this is like really tough. Meanwhile, Ma Teng is swallowing up all the adjacent Han Empire territories. Okay, Shamok is running inland after weaker targets by the looks of it. Classic AI. Duosi, however. Hmm. Duty to the hand. Divert food surplus. At the start of the turn, the following faction must have at least 10 food. 
I mean, don't we have like a hundred Imperial favor already? Um, Jiling is now energetic, which gives him more movement points. Excellent. Right, first things first, let's check diplomacy. Right, no trade agreements. Spies. Discredit character. Got a few options. Discredit faction. Okay, we can make her discredit faction. Let's do that. Oh, wait, exactly enough. That's crazy. Okay, she's now definitely going to go. And if we're lucky, we'll get some of the other skills. Ooh, oh no, luigi has been hired. Lady Liu Yang Lan. I don't know who that is. Alright, I don't think we need Liu Zhang. And if we bring Liu Zhang around here, then Duosi's just going to run away and we want to beat him here and now. So let's get Ji Ling on him. I seriously doubt that it's going to be that one-sided, so... Well, that close, so let's start the battle. Yeah, they're all missile units, and we've got G-Ling and two units of Lancer Cav. Okay, so they're immobilized in that stance. Definitely put them on fire at will, though. Yeah, they've got no cavalry, so we haven't got that to worry about. Put some swords on one flank. Swords on the other flank. What's their range looking like? They've got 200 range. These guys have 100. 180, sorry. See what they do. Okay, they've realized they're outranged, so let's get into mixed spear. This is a static infantry and bow formation. I 
Well, actually, we don't even need to do that, do we? Because we can do that as they get closer. Don't want a duel, thanks. And now we'll assume the formation. What are they doing? Brace! Oh, okay, whatever. Don't know why this unit bugged out there. I don't know why I deployed the stakes, they have no cavalry, so they're just, they can only harm us. I never understand how blowpipes are so like powerful. It's fine though. Get out of there.
想犯我国境。滔滔论财，可惜了。Gotta try and make sure none of them are on skirmish mode anymore. We were winning this like really easily, and then it just got super like pyrrhic. <laughs> okay, our units are starting to uh, snap out of their retardation. Oh my god! Just stop routing. Oh my god, it's like elite units just getting wrecked by blowpipes. Get out of there, Luyan. If we run everyone back up to the tower, oh, we got a unit rallied all the way over here. Ji Ling, what are you doing? <laughs> Get involved! Okay, if we can get the lancers into them, that's something at least. This is mad. I was not expecting it to be this bloody at all. Okay. Okay, we still got the tower. I think. No! Oh, right, let's run into those guys. Yeah, there, Leanne.
Okay, at least we've got um, Zuji hindering their hero abilities. That's one thing, I suppose. Stop trying to fight him. Stop trying to fight him. Get out of there. You're going to get crushed by Dorosi. Why is it the strategist just loves to get up close and personal, but Ji Ling is just like, nah, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should dismount Jiling. Maybe that'll make him. Maybe not. I don't know. He does have good charge speed and charge bonus. Jiling, you're gonna hit him back. That's better. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, this is down to the wire. Jiling, what are you doing? Hit him back. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I think he was um, resilient. So he should be alright. And she's now gone berserk, so he should be okay. Where do you think you're going? I can't believe this has come down to a hero fight. This is nuts. <laughs> Stupid. Come on, what Jing? Why have you suddenly slowed down? Oh, damn it. No, yep, got got a boost of speed. What? Stop slowing down. That's weird. But should if I just want to get to OC to be honest now. Oh we got ages, we've got him. If Jiling doesn't drop the ball. On. No, what is it? I don't. I don't understand this. He's speeding up and slowing down. Come 
come on! I just don't get this. He's got... Oh, roughly the same speed, so it's just bugging out for some reason. Damn it. That was ridiculous. Gonna take the three percent. Okay, they're both wounded, but we should be able to grab him now. Liu Yan's been maimed, that's fine. Oh, we got a composite bow, that's cool. Oh, we need the replenishment, really. Yeah, let's finish Rusi off with an auto resolve, hopefully. Yes. Okay, he's getting executed. Shh, he's getting executed. Uh, and then we'll take the ransom amount. Everyone's rivals, excellent. And now Liu Zhang can start moving on this guy. Okay, I think we need to destroy this rural county administration now and replace it with a military barracks. Because it's not really helping us. Okay, and Shu is apparently... Let's upgrade the military forge, just because we're making use of the supervised construction assignment. And I think that's all we have. We definitely overran there. I don't know what I'm saying. This is all we got time for. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part.